What's up guys, Topher Rocks here, and welcome to another gameplay of Modern Warfare 3. You have some kill confirmed with the Spaz 12 with the damage proficiency, of course, and some other perks. Um, it's been a little while since I've uploaded a video, I apologize for that, but uh, just to be honest with you guys, I have to take breaks, uh, not just from making videos, but just from gaming, just because, uh, you know, the games I play can be very frustrating, and it's just not fun for me to play, and... Um, I'm one of those people I don't like to make videos just to make a video. Um, you know, I, I really need to have something to talk about or a good gameplay or just kind of have that, uh, you know, the passion for, you know, talking about gaming. And I just have not had that. And, uh, you know, I, I think a big part of that is uh, it's Modern Warfare 3. Um, you know, I just, I think they've taken so many steps backwards and they just have not learned from. Uh, you know, the mistakes that, uh, you know, not just uh, Modern Warfare 2 made, but uh, that Black Ops made. And, uh, you know, just this little stuff like the knifing, they, they said that they were going to address that. And in my opinion, it has not really been addressed. It's still, I mean, it's a lot more inconsistent than it was on Modern Warfare 2, but it's, you know, you still get uh, lunch knifed all the time. And it's just uh, so annoying. Um, and, and panic knifing is it's still a huge issue. I, I really wish they would have revamped the, the knifing mechanic, um, and they didn't. And I think that really hurt the game, and it just, it, you know, caused for a lot more frustration. Um, the level of quick scoping, it's, I think it's even, uh, you know, bigger than it used to be. Um, I thought they were going to have like sniper lobbies and stuff like that, uh, you know, for quick scoping, but uh, definitely didn't have that. And that would have been nice to see something new like that and, and a place for snipers to practice trick shots and, and, and stuff like that, not in, you know, uh, public uh, matches where, uh, you know, it, it just gets annoying that, uh, you know, sniper rifles are just as powerful as a shotgun or uh, SMG up close. Um, you know, if you guys quick scope that are watching this video, you know, I'm not trying to offend you guys or I hate you guys or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's annoying when you come up against guys that are really good at it. I mean, I give them props for being skilled at it, but at the same time, it does get annoying to, to get quick scope from like two feet away when, you know, sniper rifles are meant to be, you know, uh, beast at a distance, not, uh, you know, from two or three feet away, you know, when, uh, you know, a shotgun or SMG or even assault rifle should win every time you know, at close range or medium range for the most part. Um, what else annoys me? Uh, the, the connection and the lag has definitely gotten a lot better after the patch. Um, this gameplay, it's an older gameplay, and you're going to definitely see some lag and, and some lag when I'm definitely, uh, you know, uh, shooting. Um, you know, the bullets take a little while to register, which is kind of strange, um, you know, especially when I'm using the shotgun. Um, as well as, you know, dropping frames and stuff like that. Um, this was before the patch, so you're still going to see some of that connection problems. But uh, for the most part, I mean, I'll, I'll admit it's definitely gotten a lot better and uh, definitely not nearly as bad as it used to be. But uh, I don't know. I just, I, in my opinion, I don't think they've taken enough steps forward to uh, really progress uh, this franchise, you know. Um, they, they took a few steps in the right direction. I think point, uh, point streaks are great. You know, if you're gonna have a game so focused on kill streaks, don't just uh, don't just have kills count for them. Um, you know, that's really I think it's awesome that uh, objectives, uh, you know, taking objectives adds to it and, and shooting down air support or taking out a sentry gun and stuff like that. As my brother's making noise uh, across the hall there, um, you know, I, I you know they have taken some steps forward, but overall the game is just. Uh, it's not as good as it, it should be or, or could be, I guess. Um, you know, even if they patch some stuff, I don't think they, you know, can really address some of the stuff that a lot of people don't like about the game. And it just seems like uh, just a, just common sense would tell you that uh, you would use, you know, Black Ops uh, as, you know, a first reference uh, on, on how to improve the game or, you know, eat, of course, Modern Warfare 2 because it's a sequel to Modern Warfare 2. Wow, the freaking knife there. <laughs> You can tell I'm frustrated in the gameplay. Um, you know, just uh, just little stuff like the the way the scoreboard's set up and, and the combat record definitely took a step backwards. <clears throat> it's definitely not as good as it was in Black Ops. And, uh, you know, wager matches were, were fun. Uh, I was hoping that they would throw those in there. I guess they have them in private matches, I, I guess, but they don't have them in public matches, which kind of sucks. Um you know, they just, uh, I don't know, I guess Infinity Ward is just very stubborn. They just uh, want to stick to their guns and, and what their, uh, you know, what their other games have been like. They don't want to, <clears throat> don't 
directly copy off of Black Ops, which I understand, but at the same time, it's all Call of Duty, and uh, you know they need to to you know take what Black Ops did well and and apply it to their game, or what Black Ops didn't do well and improve on it. And I really don't think they did that. Um, I, I like the fact that they put Blast Shield in there, but uh, really, you don't even have to run Blast Shield anymore because they they took out uh, really the power of the Noob Tubes, which is great. Um, you know that was definitely. A step in the right direction as well to try and eliminate that from uh, you know people's arsenal or main arsenal or primary arsenal um, but uh, they they really took down the power of the grenades and uh, you rarely get uh, one hit grenade kills anymore you know maybe you have to shoot them a little bit and then throw a grenade to get them uh, which is kind of strange I guess they don't want uh, you know people just spamming grenades all over the place um, you know and getting a quick quick death I guess but uh, I don't know. I, I thought the, the grenades were fine in the other games. Um, you know, I get hit markers almost every time I throw a grenade now, which is kind of uh, annoying, you know, even if they are wearing blast shield. But, you know, uh, so I do like the fact that they put it in there, but now it seems like they, they've changed it. Uh, you know, they've changed the power of the grenades and, and the explosives to where you don't even need blast shield. So it's, it's kind of goofy. Um, you know, why put it in there if, if you really don't need it as much? Oh, oh, jeez, and uh, uh, what's what's some other stuff? La, the lag compensation that's been talked about quite a bit from a, a lot of YouTubers and, and gamers alike. Uh, I guess I'm not really sure exactly what it does. I guess uh, you know if you're host, I guess the game makes you lag more than you should to compensate the other players. I think. Um, I'm guessing I'm not really sure maybe if uh, one of you guys that are watching the video knows you know maybe you can put that in the comments if you have a more exact definition of what it does um, and uh, when it comes to gameplay I'm not really sure I, I guess it just uh, kind of punishes the host for having good internet uh, that's what it comes across to me as uh, which is kind of silly in my opinion I mean if, if you pay for good internet I think you you should be uh, you know you know, I think you, you should definitely get a good connection. I don't think you should be uh, punished for having a good connection, uh, which is just you know, kind of goofy to me. But uh, the spawns are still bad, obviously, since they haven't addressed the spawns yet. I hope they do. Um, Battlefield addressed them uh, with a big patch last night, uh, or not last night, a couple days ago. Uh, which I talked about in a couple videos ago. But uh, you know, I get I give dice props, man. They they you know took their time yeah they didn't patch it for a while but they addressed a huge list of stuff if you go to their uh, their blog uh the battlefield blog um man it's a, just a huge long list probably of over 50 things that they they address in the patch which is great um and hopefully maybe call of duty can learn from that and you know kind of gather up the information and the main complaints of the game and and try and address it wow that was pretty laggy um uh, the best they can uh, which is good, but uh, it's good to see that uh, Infinity War's taking uh, an initiative and uh, you know actually um, you know trying to fix the game and trying to improve the game more so than they were with Modern Warfare 2. They did have a you know a decent amount of patches for Modern Warfare 2, but uh, just not enough to to save that game. That's for sure. Um, but uh, the hit registration and the connections seem to be better, which is you know obviously a step in the right direction. But you know in my opinion for the for this game to to, to get back to where Call of Duty 4 was, I mean, you gotta revamp the kill streaks, but uh, you gotta you gotta take them back down to, to something more simplistic. Uh, you know, Black Ops, you know, they, they took a step back down from uh, kill streaks, and I think that was better for gun on gun gameplay. But uh, and they need to get rid of the assassin perk as well, or the ghost perk uh, to hide the UAV, because that's just uh, it just bothers me, and I think it bothers most people. And in my opinion, it's definitely the best perk in the game. I mean, uh, definitely gives you a huge advantage over your opponents. Not, to, you know, especially when you can hide from uh, advanced UAV and uh, you're not affected by EMPs as well. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think, and I'll have another video up soon. I'll talk to you later.